guys welcome back to my channel those when you're here my name is Kens and today I'll be doing a foundation impression uh, it's really like is it worth it type of video so I'll be reviewing slash having a first impression on the Pat McGrath foundation this is the skin fetish sublime perfecting foundation and I also have the primer and me and tell us it's a lot of money it's a lot of money so the primer is the sublime perfection primer and the sublime foundation perfection front foundation and this has 1.18 fluid ounce and it is just one fluid ounce so really I really hope I cho chose my correct shade I mean I swatched it a little and it look a bit kind of off but can work with hopefully when I put it on all of my face it looks fine so yeah so let me just tell you the details about this foundation and primer where so yeah, I bought it on Sephora and go on the site because Sephora have emails cashback and I don't like cashback you know In fetish sublime perfecting primer based perfection this is for sixty dollars. No, so this earth someone asked me even says sixty dollar, like sixty dollar for this. Firstly, the packaging is so nice. It feels so luxurious, so expensive, which it is. So glam. So yes. So yes, sis. Yes, this is how it feels. It's black matte carton with like gold gold written all over it it looks so luxurious i mean for the money i'm gonna expect it come like one milan foundation like really and truly i never expect it would have be a milan foundation type of packaging so firstly the packaging looks pretty awesome a perfecting primer that smooths hydrates and blurs with a sublime silking effect that ensures a flawless canvas and makeup application that lasts okay so it's like this in a black bottle and it has a pump it's feel like a bit light still I think when I like this better if it was a glass I keep I feel more luxe but hopefully it does what it says it says it hydrates it smooths smooth mm -hmm. it hydrates it's that word and you know leave your face with a silky canvas i'm not going to use any moisturizer i thought about it but i'm just going to i don't want the foundation to react any bad way so i'm just going to use these two on my face so this is how the packaging look it has a gold carton and i don't like the fact that i can peel off like peel it off like the packaging not for this you know you know it not say hundred percent Pat McGrath sixty dollar awesomeness yeah it now say that apply one and a half pump it smells like like a conditioner it feels it dries down matte it, it felt smooth while applying it and now it feels i feel feels nice it feels mattish but not you know when it feels matte and it feels matte it doesn't feel like that it feels soft matte basically it's the foundation and so you fold the foundation back like this and you take out the luxuriousness of it all and this is the foundation right here it looks a little bit light on the camera but this is the foundation right here and it looks so 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 luxe like look at that look at that cap like it just looks so luxe it comes in a glass frosted bottle it has gold plated on the front okay, so this is the sublime perfection foundation and this is in the shade medium deep 23 
which I use foundation and I tell them say yo my shade is 26 but 26 was too dark for me let me just show you a picture of what 26 look, looks like and what 23 looks like and I couldn't put like 24 or 25 because it was different undertones it wasn't the right undertone for me so it says that I'm 27 26 but I have 23 right here I'm just hope my pretty my pretty the foundation gods that this it worked for me but now what it is is a long wearing customizable foundation that builds from sheer to medium coverage so this is not a full coverage foundation which i don't have a problem with i mean i like all type of foundation but i have a preference in a wide range of universal hues that manifest the ultimate sublime skin standard so the coverage is sheer to medium the finish is natural and it's for normal dry combination and oil skin. I'm just going to use two pumps. One, two. That looks a little light on camera there, doesn't it? It looks so light. And this foundation is runny. I, that lucky little fit me? No? Right now I have my doubts, but it's very it's a very runny foundation. But let's see, hopefully. Ooh. Let me just zoom you a little. Hmm. Actually, I blend out. I don't even want too much foundation because I'm going on the road and, and Jamaica is so hot. I mean, it looks a little light on camera once i apply it but once i blend it out it looks it looks nice this is what i have so far left on my hand I mean two pumps it's not 100% my shade I mean it's workable but it's not 100% my shade I can see it it's undertone is very yellow like it's workable you now but it's not like my, my shade my shade let's see if you can see do you see my face looks light i mean we can fix it but i really don't think i'm 26 26 to what 26 is what jackie and i know wear and i'm not the same com complexion we don't have the same complexion me and jackie and i know so how is 26 my shade i don't understand not paying attention to the shade i mean I don't have like big blemishes to say if it's covering everything but it's definitely definitely not a medium to full coverage foundation which as I said I don't have a problem with but it doesn't seem to be showing anything underneath where I apply the foundation so far it feels what can I say it feels lightweight on my skin see it's definitely not i mean i think i could get away if i add one more one more layer but i really don't want to like i don't want to add one more layer not today at least so not today at least but let's see how it works with everything else on top so let's see how it works with foam. let's see how it reacts or it works with concealer powder and the works I'm just going to do my face real quick nothing to turn over everything with my beauty blender I mean I went to look in the bathroom mirror and trust me the bathroom mirror is the truth if something will look right the bathroom mirror will show you it didn't look 
as bad as it does on camera it looks more off on camera i mean it can it, right now with just concealer and foundation it looks a little off in the bathroom but nothing we really can fix you know just going to add some powder so far nothing has been lifting and i normally have that problem with my nose sometimes my foundation lifts don't understand why i don't know some well my nose is dry i try to moisturize it as much as i can but i don't see anything lifting so that's that's good it doesn't always happen but it happens sometimes let me set my fire lines I mean my face looks my face looks so nice like it looks so nice on camera right now like after setting it with powder just disregard the foundation color but other than that my face looks so so nice for a foundation that is not full coverage it's more of a sheer type of foundation my skin look like a goodie nice and this is just concealer and powder my skin looks bomb bomb my skin looks bomb like it doesn't even look like a different color on camera anymore my skin looks pretty bomb like y'all have to admit my skin looks awesome <laughs> let me give you my final opinion on this foundation so first i really really like the foundation let me just show you my skin one more time like i really 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 like the foundation it looks nice with other things on top it doesn't look patchy it doesn't look you know it looks nice I, had, I do like the foundation, the, the color is just a toops, a toops off but other than, other than the color, it's nice for now, my first impressions it's primer, it's nice, I like how it felt on my skin and everything it's nice um, but I ha I'd have to like use it with something else to see if it bomb.com but my face feels so lightweight because I use less makeup and I like that feeling there so that is it for this foundation review slash first impressions i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you decide to lick it and buy the foundation here if you're rich like that you can buy the foundation if you say yo no but not always for money or if you say maybe let me know down in the comments below it just it how it looks on my skin and how it makes me feel it reminds me of sd lauder double wear but with less coverage if that makes sense but i do like it and yeah let me know how what are your comments down below and if i have any further thing to say i will put it down in the description box below or i will voice over that part i hope to see you guys next time and i will see you in my next video